the XRT-3B triangular military aircraft, they admit that it uses electrostatics to fly, right? Why don't we have cars that do that? We should, because there's no moving parts. It's just an electrostatic difference. The earth has a negative charge. The sky has a positive charge. Anything above the earth has surrounded by that positive charge and its buoyancy and density will dictate which, which way it goes up or down. So that's that. Next question. So, so you're, you're saying that there, there's no gravity that instead we, <clears throat> there's electrostatics that basically are do perform in similar role. Well, let's, let's, uh, you know, we will, I won't say there's no gravity. There's no proof of gravity. Gravity is just a theory. Um, when they try to measure it out in the solar system, they're like, Hey, 96% of it's missing. So they go, Oh, we'll just make up dark matter and dark energy to fill up that space because it has to be. So, um, if I borrowed a hundred dollars from you yesterday and I paid you back four today and I go, we're even, you go, no, no, you owe me a hundred. I'm like, oh, no, no, there's 60, 60, I mean, 96 dark dollars. Don't worry about it. Trust me, bro. They're there. That's literally what science is telling us. Trust me, bro. The dark energy is there, but electrostatics can be manipulated, can be scientifically looked at. Flat earthers love, love science, right? I'll just show the, my balloon thing again, because we showed it to the other classes. Um, this, these helium balloons are just levitating this about two inches above the floor. This wire goes to a, a Van der Graaff generator, and we're going to um, just introduce a higher positive charge to the button at the end of the wire there. And so when we add the charge, did we change gravity or did we change the electrostatic uh, attraction to the earth? Right. And then when we discharge it, discharge, it goes back up. And then we could do the opposite by putting a negative charge into something. And we do. It goes up.